minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. In 1977, the greatest adventure in space exploration commenced. We have ignition and we have liftoff. Our eyes, our minds, our, our souls are moving out through the universe. You can only do things for the first time once. And Voyager kept doing things for the first time over and over again. Two robots were built to be able to think and explore by themselves in the deep reaches of our solar system. None of the managers really appreciated the complexity and the autonomy that we just launched into space. Yet both missions went seriously wrong only moments after taking flight. We thought that we'd lost the spacecraft. They went on to make astounding and unexpected discoveries. When you see things that you did not predict, that's when there's the most to learn. We were just seeing that time after time. <laughs> the Voyagers were the creations of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where a brash young scientist had just been put in charge. I guess there's an obvious question, which is what about the lab itself? What about its people, its organization? Our sweeping change is imminent. His ambition was to take the next steps in exploring the solar system. Instead, he found himself struggling for JPL's very survival. And the greatest exploration was going on. It's a very time that the program was being strangled. This is a story of triumphs. I just kept saying, what's that? What's that? And setbacks. What's all this noise? Most of all, this is a story of perseverance by people and machines struggling against forces put in their way. The Stuff of Dreams, Beginnings of the Space Age, 